Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. As promised, we are back today with more of our weekly painting progress. And and that's that's about it. Yeah, that's like my weekly painting progress. I finally finished my great unclean King of Ruin. And he is a big hefty boy. And he took me forever. I've been working on it for quite some time. Yeah, I don't know if the lighting is really helping here, but he is finished. And he is just a massive, hefty piece of resin. He is solidly cast. He is not hollowed out in any way, shape, or form. I mean, there's 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 some heft to him. You can see the paint all over my hands now from it, too. So, that is what most of my week, the last two weeks, has consisted of. Besides that, I got the... What were these guys even called? I don't even remember now. Um, the Iron Jaws for Warhammer Underworlds. They are all finished up. If we can get them in focus there. Morog's Crushes or something like that? I don't know. I'm terrible about the names. All I know is Dire Chasm is supposed to be coming out soon. And, well... It's about time I get this crew finished up here. So, not the most exciting of paint jobs, but they're finished. There's a little bit of shading done. There's some detailing on the bases. I think this guy's probably my favorite of the bunch. Maybe next time I should wash my hands a little bit better before I start filming. Crap, yeah. As you can see, just painting all day. But to go along with them, we got Iron Jaws boys as well. Iron Skull? Iron Jaws? I don't, I don't know what they're called anymore. These are the guys from the very first season of Warhammer Underworlds. But they're also Iron Jaws boys. I'm not a fan of painting yellow. It's very hard for me to actually get the depth that really needs to be done. I did cheat and start with some contrast yellows and I did try to put some highlights in there but it's really difficult to see. I'm not a big fan of the skin tones either. I didn't really do a whole lot with them but it is what it is at this point. And I did a really blah job on those shoulder pads. But they're done and hopefully someday I will get to play Warhammer Underworlds again. It's been quite some time, and I think at this point we have so many finished teams that it's kind of ridiculous. What else do we do? So I got some of these Maker's Cult models done, and I feel like I really did not do as nice of a job as I needed to. You can't really see much in the way of the face. Um, what do they call these things? They're bellicosaur or something... It's basically just a Centurion stand-in. But it's kind of neat. It's just, they're all part of their Black Knight faction, so I went with an actual black paint, and I did not do a good job of really detailing it up. I might revisit these in the future. They're big, too. He's on a 50mm base. I also tried painting up a Crusader, and that goes along with the Black Knights. And again, very poor job of... Those highlights came out way too bright. They didn't look that bright when I was actually painting it, but once like, ugh. Once that matte sealer gets on it, it's like all bets are off, and well, you're really going to see what we did this time. Painted up another of Cobra Mode's awesome little salamanders whose name I cannot remember because I've been busy toying around with his big lizards. So I'm getting their names all mixed up, but I will put a link down below in case you are curious and want to try painting some yourself. This is the chakra one. If you remember, I had a shuriken one. And I've been working on the one with the fan as well. And since we're going with a Japanese theme, we went ahead and started painting up some of the Minimoto clan from GCT Studios Bushido game. And... 
in this highlight? No, it's just stuff on the back. I'm like, did I already scrape it up? That's the one worry I always have with metals is, did I already damage them in some way, shape, or form? There really wasn't a whole lot of painted examples of these guys out there, and I just kind of based it on a sample piece of art I found, but I think it turned out okay. I kind of like the greenish brown and the red and the kind of light bluish gray clothes underneath in his lion skins there. Plus they got the big old Kanabo weapons. And then this is a more recent Minimoto guy. He just looks cool. And again, I painted them at the same time and I figured I'm going to try to get a uniform style to them. There's actually a couple other guys I was painting with them at the same time, but we'll see them probably next week because they're not done and I don't think I've actually posted their videos even, so I might, might need to do that. Finally this week, we went ahead and I found this guy from Lord of the Print and to me it looked totally like something out of Warframe. It's just weird and, well, you know what? I like weird. So I tried to do a very Warframe inspired paint job with lots of weird flashy lines all over him and interesting color choices. It's just a neat little model. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to use this for, uh, but I just really miss playing Warframe. I don't have the time, energy, or patience to sit in front of a console or my computer and grind away at those games anymore. And plus, this YouTube channel takes up most of my time. So, so that's it. Right? Oh! No, i got to do that giveaway. Oh, yeah, no, I totally remembered. Um, happy with my overall haul this week. And I just wanted to say, I, I've been thinking I would like to step up the quality of this channel, which is going to require some more funds. And I'm thinking I might actually try setting up a Patreon account in the next, I don't know, week or so, few days, whatever. But hopefully, because I really would like to get a nicer camera and the fact that this just keeps sucking up so much of my free time, I don't get to paint anywhere near oh, as much as I would like to these days. So not a bad haul, but honestly and truly, this guy right here, that King of Ruin, really just ruined all of my extra time for getting much painted, but I'm, I'm glad I got it done. Um, I don't think I have too many other big kings or queens from them at this point that I'm going to have to finish, but hopefully we'll... Oh no, I still have the Queen of Ruin and a couple others. Uh, we'll figure it out. But yeah, so as I was saying, as I'm rambling on about different things and trying to grab stuff for that giveaway. Um, so yeah, I think I'm probably going to try setting up a Patreon. I don't know if anybody actually would bother to subscribe, but I was thinking I might do something like, I don't know, put a tier. I, I don't want to do it for more than a couple bucks or something, but maybe I'll have a tier in there where you guys can request what kind of paint schemes I end up doing this stuff with. Who knows? We'll see how that goes. But definitely, it's been a very impressive and crazy journey, and I'm glad I've got so many of you guys joining me regularly for that journey. And believe it or not, I do truly appreciate that. So, without further ado, um, I went ahead and I grabbed a bunch of names. Actually, I had my kids grab the names, and I had to write them down after they played around with the computer to figure that out. And I will... Let the festivities begin. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, if you see your screen name, obviously you probably should get in touch with me. And I swear to God, I hope you all live in the United States. No offense to you, Euro folks or anybody else further out there. But, you know, it is what it is. If I end up having to ship this stuff across the ocean, well, so be it. Um, maybe we won't do any giveaways for a while. No, I'm just I'm messing around. Uh, actually, I have some stuff. I would like to do another one of these. I'm hoping maybe around Halloween time and maybe towards the end of the year as well. So without further ado, um, and if you already have this ready that we can contact me, please let me know. And if we need to work something out, we can. So our first giveaway is for the Rum Jaeger, Rum Jaeger, I don't know, the Deathfields dudes from War Games Atlantic. Congratulations, Aaron Arellano. Those are yours now. Get in touch with me. Um, next up. 
Halflings. Brian Elise. Oh, Al Alice? Brian Elise? Brian Alice. Yeah. <laughs> you get in touch with me too. Let's see, what else? Mr. Jacob Lynch. It is Jacob Lynch, right? Yes, it is. I remembered. From Malifo. William Porter. You can read that name. Come on down. Oh, crap. I totally broke that. <laughs> Shoot. Whoops. Okay. And then... Our Dwegholm. From Parabellum's Conquest game. As I smash models out of the way. Brianna Watts. I'm going to put all these names down below, too. And finally, for the box that doesn't really fit on the screen anymore, the Conquest box. Oof. It's freaking heavy. I hope to God you live somewhere in the United States. King Wiku, Wiku, Waiku, Waika. King Wiku. I get to mispronounce your name. So congratulations to everybody. Um, yeah, this has been kind of cool. Um, help me continue to get those subscribers coming in and help me continue to help this channel grow and I will help you continue to find as many more obscurities as I can. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane, Obscurities and Miniatures. Say thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.